Good morning. Well, Army Tech recently supplied me this to test out. The Wizard C2 Pro Max. Here is the little item in question. Now, it's a general purpose torch, but you can use it in many different ways. As you can see, I've got the pocket clip on there a moment, which is very handy. I tend to stick this onto the strap of my rucksack if that's how I need it. The unit itself feels very solidly made. It's, it's quite heavy for its size, you'd be surprised. Um, the beam is a flood beam rather than a focused point, which is nice because if you're using it as a head torch, it doesn't mean you have to sort of swivel around like this to aim at things. You just need to look in the general direction and it lights the area up. It's quite powerful. It has got multiple settings. Um, all the full on information you can get from their website. I will link it below. But what I do like in its most basic function, should we say, you can click it on. And if you hold the button, you just have three levels of brightness. To be honest, that's all I need. A low, a medium, a high. So that's a bonus. I don't want to be playing with sub menus and stuff like that. If I just need a light to do something, I want it simple. The button itself is raised, easy to find in the dark. It's even slightly textured, so that is brilliant. Runtime. Well, I believe if you have it on absolute maximum power, which I haven't needed to because it's plenty bright enough as it is, um, I think it's about five hours on full power. If you drop it right down into like the twilight mode or whatever they particularly call it, it's something like 30 days. So it lasts for ages. I used it the other weekend for camping, used it quite a bit, did a bit of testing and all that sort of thing. When I went out this weekend, before leaving, obviously, to charge all my gear up and that sort of thing. I dropped this on the charger. It was still showing green. <laughs> it was still fully charged. So, yes, the battery does last. Now, what comes with it? Think of charging. A magnetic base charger, which is excellent. Not only is it simple, but you don't have, you know, a charging port where it could potentially leak water. Thinking of waterproofing, I believe it's good down to something like 10 metres below the surface for about five hours. So it's not going to get damaged in the rain, is it? It's also shock resistant from a decent height too. But having that magnetic base, you can, of course, always stick it against some metal and go freehand as well. If it's working on your car or something like that. So magnetic bases, we love those. You get... A little sort of holster for it. Just want to stick it on your belt. And how I've been using it most of the time as a head torch. Now the construction of this itself is not a problem. Works fine. You've got your plastic holder there that the torch clips into and there's a couple of like bungees there. You just sort of like hook it over to secure it properly. This is the only thing I don't like. This hard plastic clip that it clips into. If you're using this over a hat, no issues whatsoever. Holds it nice and firm. You can you know, rotate the light to the angle you want and all that sort of thing. That's no problem. If you're wearing it without a hat, this is not particularly comfortable. Hard against your head here. Um, and of course, it's no normal head torch. It's a proper torch, really. So it's heavier. Add that to that, it's extra weight sticking in your head. So yes, it works, it works fine, but it's not the most comfortable thing. As I say, I've been using it over my hat and it's absolutely fine. But if you're someone that doesn't wear a hat and you just want it like this, it, yeah, you might end up putting some padding or whatever behind that. that that's my only real failing. On the whole, I really like it. It, it works well. The only penalty over my other head torches would be the weight. It's, it obviously is heavier. 
but that comes from its construction and the size of the battery and it, it obviously will last 10 times longer than my other head torches so it depends what you need and what marketplace you're in isn't it really but certainly for build quality and so on i would say it's excellent really good i've quite enjoyed the testing i've used it several weekends camping never had an issue with it um, not only as a head torch, sometimes I've even, you know, put it on the floor or clipped it to my tripod and used it as a filming light. It just works. Simple and it works. A bit like me. Thanks for watching.